want to have a monitor stand, but got a desk like this that doesn't use the standard monitor configuration, I'll show you how to make this clamp that works like a charm. Costs around $3 and easy to build. Let's show you how it's done. As this was a remote build, we took the cross sections of the desk, figured it all out. Now we did millimeters, you could do inches, but millimeters is sometimes easier. You can see we actually converted in a couple places. This was version two to make sure we, you know, measure twice, cut once kind of thing. And we came up with this, a cross section for the desk. And the great thing about this, is it perfect? No, it's got this little piece here that you'll see either before or after I shoot this video. Here's the top of the desk. This is the side of the desk that goes against the wall. Here's the piece that goes where his knees are. So once I had the mock-up, it was easy to design this. Actually put a little bit of play here so that if for some reason I didn't get this distance right, I wouldn't have to cut something on sight. And I'm using popsicle stick shims because they're right around three quarters of an inch and just sliding those in here to make up the difference so that we can have this nice and tight. I went through so many iterations of this. I used washers, but I was trying to get the price down. So basically you got a piece of felt here and that's to protect the desk on the outside. I had to smooth this all out and make this so that the student would not be hitting that and hurting themselves. So we took and knocked down all the corners here, sanding, and then we just used a piece of scrap wood. I believe it was poplar. It's three inches wide by three quarters of an inch. I picked up on the bolts that were already part of the kit. So let's kind of take this guy apart and I'll show you what I did on the inside. This distance here is one and a half inches. Now you can see it's not completely flush there, but that's okay. I put a pad here and I can actually squeeze that down. Now for some reason I don't want the felt pad. I'll just take some thin pieces here. I'm not sure what we'll do, but you'll see that later in the video if I decide to do that. So we'll take this guy out and show you what we got here. This is a C clamp and it is strong. And it comes apart like this. So here I had to actually inlay these bolts right here so that they would be nice and flush and out of the way. These are actually paint stirrers, the larger ones, left and right, drilled holes in there so that it would go through, and there's some washers in there. So that's nice and solid. Then I have four inch bolts. Now I could take this pad off, and I'll show you what that looks like. Drill those holes, and it could be tight like this. And we just slide that guy down in here. See, and, and you would have a little bit of play this way. So that's where the felt pad in this case is going to do its job and then these are great wing nut washers and I'll post down below where you can get those they are fantastic for all sorts of builds I got a flat washer here and I actually got some shim washers here that I may or may not need because I'm compressing really hard on this edge of the felt pad I might trade this out for some thinner felt pads in here don't know the next step is to take this on site and test it out and put it in place and see how it works. But ideally, these dimensions are what I need. Here we go, this is the actual desk. So we're gonna put this guy in place. This is the piece that goes inside the desk. I'll show that once it's mounted. Boom, this guy goes in here. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible without any tools. All right, looks good so far. All right, and then we can just find the center of the desk and clamp that guy down. Now, based on the model, I cut some extra over here. It looks like I didn't need to do that, but that's what the popsicle sticks are for. There's also a gap right here, and we'll use popsicle sticks there. But I really think that guy's not going anywhere. Even with just one of the wing nuts closed, that's really doing a good job. That's the outside that I just showed, and here's the inside. Perfect! Look how close that is and beautiful. And it's just nice and flush. And here's the other great design feature. Boom! Can fully close this drawer. So it meets all the design constraints. Here's a perfect example of simplicity of design, but taking a while to figure it out. I wanted to make this the lowest cost possible, the toughest, 
and flexible as possible. I'll show you the final mount when we have the whole thing together. All right, so this is the final look. Pretty happy with it, it works. Final assembly, all good. Thumbs up and comments always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in designs of all kinds, making and breaking stuff, home repairs, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.